Wow, hello. Wow, hello. Wow, welcome. This is episode 60 of the Novo Combo podcast where two stupids make a right hype. Hype. Right? Hype. Right. Hype. hype. Wow. Uh-huh. Ooh, I've been Ooh. doing that a lot lately. Yeah, I know, right? Can't I'm one it. of your hosts, Veronica Vo, and I'm joined by Harrison Mill. He's right over there. What up? I'm here. Hello. I'm here today. I exist. Well, you're here. Yeah, you exist. I exist. If you're new here, we both just want an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from anime to comics because some would say it's conversing, like Novo Convo, N G O V O Convo. Convo. No, <laughs> Brain processing. Oh, man. Brain is. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. You can watch every episode on YouTube.com or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Convo on your podcast service of choice. We're everywhere. Ten different platforms. You can find us basically anywhere, really. Everywhere. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about Thor Ragnarok. What? Wow. Thor Ragnarok? Yeah. Are we not watching the first movie? What first movie? Are we not watching the second one? What second one? (laughs) Fair. (laughs) Fair points. <laughs> so, if you haven't finished the movie, I suggest go watch it. You should. It's really funny. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. If yeah. you haven't Come seen it for some us. reason. <laughs> some reason. Where have you been? Where have you been? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, pause. Take a day. Watch I it. I did. I watched Come back. Too. Yeah, Harrison did. I watched. I mean, I just took it on. I watched it on my own time. Yeah, exactly. But also, we are sponsored by Anchor, which we'll get into later. And also, this is pre-recorded uh, because someone is going somewhere on a vacation while we were supposed to record this. Anyway, long story short, it's pre-recorded back in May. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell him that. I was just going to be like, look, I looked exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this movie came out in November 2017. So, if you have not watched it, like I said earlier, where Too have you bad. been? Too bad. We're spoiling it. We're spoiling it. You had your time. Yeah, you did. But let's get into the now versus then. How you felt, feelings, thoughts, Harrison. Then thoughts versus now thoughts. Um, think? Back then, I thought the yeah. movie was really funny. That was a okay. really nice change of pace for Thor. And it was awesome. Now, exactly the same. If anything, <laughs> I forgot how funny it was. <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" Watching, I was like, I was like expecting to know all the big parts, but there are some things I just forgot. I was just like, "Oh, like yeah. little like like Valkyrie walking down from her ship, and then she falls off because she's drunk." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's a thing." Oh my god, I totally like little things like that. And I forget how dry the humor is at times. Oh and yeah, it's just very like, or like just very like nonchalant. And I was just like, "This is great." Or like um, one-liners that shouldn't be there yet. But they're, they're, they're just, like, put in. How the hammer pulled off Thor, for instance. <laughs> that was so funny. That's, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it for you that very watch reason. watch it. <laughs> out of context oh, movies. Or out of oh, context yeah. friendly movies. Yeah. What about you? I thought the same thing. I remember it being very funny. Like, I had... I remember not having any expectations because of the first two Thor movies. Yeah. <laughs> So I was coming into this, like, wanting to be disappointed. I remember, like, I wanted to be disappointed in this third one. Because of how Thor has been going? Yeah, because how Thor has been going. Um, But yeah, it was really funny back then when we watched it. And then now, still very funny. Uh, I agree with you. I forgot how funny it was. Did we watch this one together? Do you remember? I don't remember. I think we did. I I would assume we did. I just... I think, yeah. There's some movies that we did. I know for sure, but yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did on this one. But yeah, I think for how long it's been with Ragnarok, that it's still pretty funny. It's been five years. It's been, yeah, it's been five years. That it still holds. I think that's like really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely still a very fun, enjoyable watch. I love, it's like you, you feel that Crimson Hemsworth is having the time of his life filming oh this. yeah and it just yeah. it just radiates throughout the film and it's just everything just seems funnier and like every the delivery of every all the lines are just great i have like my one gripe what we'll, we'll touch in that 
I was only reminded of the gripe rewatching the movie. Oh, uh, okay, it. okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay, cool. But we'll get okay. into that later. We will. But before we get into spoiler thoughts, we're actually going to take an early break to talk about our sponsors. On this episode, we are sponsored by Anchor. It is a free podcast hosting service that we actually use. We've been using Anchor since we've started the podcast. It's because there are creation tools that allow us to record and edit the podcast right from our phones and computers. A huge plus for us is that Anchor would distribute our podcast to all platforms such as Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and many more. It really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one spot. Please download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Wow, and we're back. What a quick break. Oh my goodness. Did you miss us? I mean, you're the one. I mean, I see this. You're probably the one. Okay, never mind. They don't know. Maybe one day I'll say that. (laughs) But yeah, so we're going to just go right into spoilers. Uh, This movie... You know, did come out five years ago, so I don't know where you've been, what you've been doing. Um, But if you have not watched it, it's on Disney Plus, so mooch off of someone somewhere. Like me, uh, Veronica. Yes. Yes. So just send, just DM, just let me know, and I'll just let her know the ad. You're easy. No. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Just kidding. I tried, boys. Tried, girls. (laughs) Tried, everyone. My bad. Tried. I tried. But yeah, so just to kind of remind everyone, this movie took place two years after uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, Basically a long time ago, now that we think about it. (laughs) Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Um, Can we just talk about like the beginning of the movie? I completely forgot that he was captured and caged for a little bit. And I was very confused when I watched it a second time around. I was like, huh? That was, and yes, you, I forgot for a split second because it was like that, in, he, but he explains exactly what happens. Okay. And it was like that whole period of like, where is Thor? Where wasn't he in Civil War? Like the, I had to like get myself back into the period of like, where was Thor? Because yeah, yeah. Civil War just happened. Um, Sokovia Accords just happened. Or yep. So not just happened, but that was like probably the last the thing The last that thing that happened with Thor. With him. Yeah. If you remember, he was supposed to have, he had like this premonition of like Ragnarok or like things happening. And like he went into the pool or something like that. Yep. And he's yep. like, oh, what's it? I'm having visions. And I'm like, oh, this is so bad. What's happening to Thor? <laughs> what, what's happening to Thor? But, At, but he explains it loud and clear. Like, <laughs> but in the most like, but in such a like a different it's like such a change in like his personality though i think that was Mm -hmm. a good way to introduce of how this movie's gonna it was a nice introduction to how the movie and what tone is what tone the movie is gonna have at that point yeah it felt like did it feel to you like it was a reintroduction of thor again yeah no yeah i think it was a rehash of thor like essentially just because would you have thought that he would be one dangling in front of surter and it's like he's like Thor, son of Odin. Surtur, you son of a bitch. And it's like, would you expect that? No, I would not. No, have. I would not have. No. It's fine. Absolutely not. And the whole, like, the hammer thing. Oh, God, it was just too funny. <sighs> yeah, it was so good. It was so good. But also, you know, rewatching this, I also forgot Loki was in this for a split second. I don't know why. I was like, I'm not going to get Thor in, or I'm not going to get Loki in this movie. And then I rewatched it and it was him pretending to be oh, Odin. Oh, you know what? You know what? It's because you just remember here, Thor and Hulk being off world. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. kind of see that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, him as Odin? <laughs> yeah. Him as Odin and then um, Matt the Damon playing... Loki. I forgot about that until because yeah. I remember Matt Damon did something and I was like, oh, he did something. But I was like, no, that was Deadpool. Was that Deadpool? I don't remember all of a sudden. Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you see him as Loki. I was like, this is the best I remember yeah. now. And I then didn't Chris catch that the Hemsworth, first time. Yeah. And then Chris Hemsworth, um, older brother Luke Hemsworth, was Thor in the play. In the play. It, it was so funny. It's so good. <laughs> see, I remember that. I just couldn't remember um, uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how you, how'd you feel? How did you feel about Strange? <laughs> like I was literally Strange. about to bring that up. Like how we just watched Doctor Strange and then seeing him at this point. Because this is the point when he just became um, Sorcerer Supreme. Strange. Yeah, so, yeah Sorcerer Supreme. Right? So, so he would technically be Sorcerer Supreme at this point? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, one, do you remember him having gloves? I do not. I, I think we just watched that movie too, and I don't remember if he had gloves all of a sudden. I'm like, did he have gloves? I don't remember Cause it. Because Doctor, um, Doctor Strange in the comics had yellow gloves. Had, it is true. Yeah. But I, yeah. for some reason, just don't remember if he had gloves. And I'm like, this is weird. This is no, weird. I don't. Did he have gloves in Multiverse I don't remember. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, that was like my first thing that I noticed. I was like, oh, he yeah. has gloves. Does he have gloves? Has he always had gloves? Oh God! <laughs> I thought it was a be... funny interaction, though. Yeah. Between like Loki, the whole beer. Strange, oh. uh, and Thor. That was just too funny. The wasn't it a sound at some point? It's like I have been falling for thirty oh, yeah. minutes, like on, yeah. in talk, on TikTok. Yeah, okay. I've been falling for thirty minutes. I think that's so good. Blat. Blat. <sighs> Can we also say I forgot how cool, how, like how Hell's entrance was so cold, like how it was just like, yeah, she was just and like, her like little horns and like just, just I, was like, I remember okay I remember I think I remember seeing that the first time and I was like okay that is kind of weird yeah I think the trailer I thought the trailer was like I was like oh okay I guess I will go with that sure why not we'll but, go with this <laughs> but seeing it now it's like this is really cool it was cool she was badass. I know. I I totally for. I f- feel like I forgot a lot of stuff until I rewatched. You know what it. I for? You know the person I forgot was in this movie. Who? I don't think it's as bad as you freaking Loki. I forgot Heimdall was in this movie, so I forgot I would get to see. Oh um, yeah. Idris Elba. E- yeah, Idris. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's no, right. but. I just forgot about Loki because I was just always thinking about it for Ragnarok. Before rewatching it, I always thought about it as Thor and Hulk, like off world. Which like, it is. No, know? most of it is. It's like yeah. the whole, that was the whole promotion was like those two, honestly. Yeah. So Loki just felt like a side character. Yeah. You kind of, kind of forgot. But yeah, what's your okay? Let's get into your gripe then. What's your one gripe? What so was this your is one like gripe? after Hela gets resurrected, after all that happens, after like Thor and Loki get uh, kicked out of the Bifrost. Uh huh. Hela gets to Asgard, uh-huh. and then how they handle the the Warriors three. Yes, Warriors three. Yep. Um, how they handled the I forgot the big guy's name, but Zachary Levi's character as well. Uh-huh. Those two just got killed like instantly. They did. Yeah. And I was like, that's so stupid. And I remember that was like one gripe that like even Zachary Levi was like, yeah, I just came in, got killed, that was it. I was like, dang. That sucks. Yeah, I think he like filmed just like half a day or something. Yeah, he was just I was yeah, he was like I wasn't even yeah. there that long. Got in, boom, done. I was like, that's <laughs> so st-. No, and I say this because the stupidest thing was they had the third guy, the Asian dude, the have Asian this dude, whole yeah. scene in front of the whole army, when in reality what they really could have done was instead have not just him, but the Warriors three stand there. And I think yeah. someone may have said this way back then, but it just came back again. And I was just like yeah, why didn't they just do that? That would have been so much better. Like, yeah. it like would have made could've, sense. Would've like made they sense. Could, how? Okay, in my head, how I would have redone it. Now looking back, this wouldn't affect too much. They'd still die, and they still die. That's oh, fine. Yeah. yeah. Like we we just come to terms with it. I've come to terms with. It. They're just dead. But what I was going to say is that instead, she would just arrive, and then she would talk to the uh, the uh, the janitor guy, uh, yeah. Scourge, right? Scourge, yeah. Yes, Scourge. Yes. Who was also the guy in um, Lord of the Rings. I forgot. Like, yep. Um, forget names. I'm really bad right now. But anyway, she would just arrive. She couldn't in- She could encounter him. And then they switch sides there. And then all of a sudden, they just stand in. Because, again, it's like the same thing. They stand in front of all the pe- all of the warriors. And and it could have been the three of them there up in front. Yep. Yeah. And then same battle occurs. They all just die. Gruesomely, blah, blah, blah. Done. Done. I don't think that would that would that I think it would have given him a cooler send off than just being kill two and then one's alone. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I thought that was just a weird choice. That was my one gripe. Yeah. That was my one gripe. I can I can 
see that because I rewatched this and then I was actually wondering why because it was just like a one liner about like saying like Warriors 3. Uh, I think like one of them was just like, yeah, we're part of the Warriors 3. And then like she stabs them. They just die. <laughs> and Zachary Levi literally just wa- ran up and screamed. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I think to I, I say this screen. because I think no, no I, it was just really sad. I th- I say this as like a gripe because I like Zachary Levi. As, like I remember watching him in Chuck, and I like liked yep. him as a character. That was like what, yep. how I knew him in the first place. And I'd seen him get roles it was really cool. So now that he's just I'm cool and all, but I'm pretty sure this is why he switched over because oh, of how long. it was handled yeah, in MCU. Because yep. who else would he be? I don't know at this point. I mean, they killed off Warriors three, <laughs> so. No, I totally understand that gripe. Yeah. I see it. I see it now. Did you only... Was that your gripe back then, too? Yes. When you thought about it? Okay. Yes. And I just didn't know how... Just I like, just remember being upset about it, and I remember my brother was going off on it more, and I agreed because I was like, yeah, that's such a shit way to handle, like, the Warrior 3. Because in the comics, or at least, like, in like the media that I watched back then, it was like, I remember watching um, Thor versus Hulk, the animated yeah. movie. Did you ever watch that? It was no, I did. super old. You did. It's really old, yeah. But it was like Thor. It's always like Thor, Siv, and then the Warriors Three. That was like the group. Yep. That was. It was always the group, and boom, done. It's done. It's over. I mean, that was his like. That was his. I mean, we had him in the first movie, and then I guess I don't remember that. Well, again, I don't remember the second movie like. I at don't remember all. the second one. But I remember seeing the group like coming back to Earth, and it's like, oh, let's help Thor. Blah blah blah. Oh, he's worthy again. Blah blah blah. So. <laughs> I mean, again, Zachary Levi wasn't that character originally. He wasn't casted originally. He it was, was a different not. guy. Yeah, it was a yeah. different dude. But I think they just pulled him in just schedule-wise. It worked yeah. out. Yeah. 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 I felt the same way then. I feel the same way now. Still feel the same way if now. anything, I have like a solution, but it's too late. <laughs> I mean, it's five years too late, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you feel... Uh, about Stan Lee's like cameo. <laughs> Again, I love this whole thing where Thor is like, we have it is that bait and or it's like that persona switch that we're so we're so used to having Thor be like, by Odin's beard, do not use no man or no one shall cut touch touch my hair. Yeah. Zink. <laughs> please, dear sir, please don't touch my hair. please don't cut my hair. And did you just hear? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hemsworth got to scream so much more in here too, because oh, before he that, when they got to meet the Grandmaster, he was like, "They're they were doing the whole Willy Wonka thing." I forgot about oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I knew it was happening. I just forgot that even put the music. It's like yep. da da da. I was like, and he's just and like, he was just like going through it. Yeah. And I was like, really like that whole trip down the end of the tunnel, and he's just screaming. I was like, yeah, this is great. I love this com- Like this kind of comedy is just great. That is great. How'd you... Okay. Oh, so many questions. Oh, all me? Yeah, I know. So many oh, gosh, questions for oh me. Oh, gosh. So many questions for I'm you. Trying to flip it back to you. <laughs> oh, but how do you feel about Hulk in this movie? Like, rewatching it. After it everything... Was... After everything the characters, like, has been through. I remember... I remember... So watching it now, I was like, oh, yeah, this is cool to see Hulk mo- have more screen time. Because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, it really, they, they kind of did say it. They're like, yeah, Hulk just kind of, he just smashes. He just does whatever. It's always, he's the bad guy. Smash. He's, he's the angry dude. And then everyone talks to Banner. Everyone's Banner's buddy. Yep. So it was nice to just have a Hulk focus. It is, and I say Hulk focus because um, the new, like how Banner is now. I forget what they call him. Professor Hulk or something? I think Professor Hulk. I think they're about to name him Professor Hulk and She-Hulk. Yeah, like that. anything. I think, yeah. But I think he's just still Hulk right Eventually, now. Eventually, he'll become the maestro. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see but where that no, goes. it was cool. What about you? Uh, wow. Taking it back to just kidding. No, I it agree. I, I feel like Hulk just needed a moment. My little angry boy, angry man. <laughs> uh, I think Hulk needed a moment because they were too focused on Banner, um, in my opinion. And yes. it, wa- it was just nice to see Hulk fight, like Hulk versus just Thor. Hulk. And just be Hulk and 
smash. Just him, let him smash stuff. <laughs> it was like that. Okay, and going to that fight, I I was like just as hyped seeing it because it was just so cool to see like Hulk like letting loose and Thor also letting loose. Oh honestly. yes, because yeah. you could see like everyone's faces is like, oh Hulk's gonna win. Oh, seeing Loki's face when he sees Hulk, so funny. PTSD. <laughs> Didn't you love how uh, the PTSD of, like, even oh, Thor was like, ankle. oh, sun's getting real low. And it also yeah. just like. <laughs> yep. That exactly. Was so funny. Just good, like. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to see Thor just, like, let loose. But also, or Hulk let loose. But also Thor kind of finding himself and his powers again because the hammer is broken. Like, In. This is it really is. cool because I think as a viewer back then too, I was like always thinking like Thor is always associated with that with Mjolnir, right? Yep. So it really is one of those like you have to get readjusted to where this is his himself or this is Thor finding himself again because at the end, I thought it was a really good question where Hell is like, what are you the god of? And I, the entire time, I just associate the hammer with lightning. So he's like, I don't have my hammer. I can't do it. And then Odin's like, what do you mean? Are you God of you Hammers? Mean, God of Hammers? I was like, oh, <laughs> dang. Nah, he's the God of Thunder. Man, that end, that end fight, though, when he was just like, it was just like, <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, did you, did you, Um, I mean, I remember from the movie, but I just forgot how in the promotionals, how when he had his like lightning eyes when he was like uh-huh. on the bridge and he had like both eyes blue yeah how they hid that from us because in the movie hella cuts oh cuts his, cuts eye. his eye first, so i remember one see- of them yeah yeah because so i remember seeing that scene again i was like oh yeah this is the moment when that trailer lied to us like mc was just lying to us about everything they're very good about that they, they still are they, they still, still are still are but it was definitely like one of those times when it was like Oh, I can't trust anything anymore. Yeah, exactly. No, I totally agree. Well, how'd you feel about Banner being the strongest Avenger? <laughs> um, obviously, he is. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it's not Thor. Oh, I'm sorry. Thor was no, trying... but I'm sorry. Thor easily won that fight. Like, Banner was like, oh, what do you mean? That doesn't make sense. No, no, yeah. no. It was... No, no no problem at all. It was Thor. All Thor. Did you have a favorite character that's not... Or I guess, did you have a fake character in this one? Because I have one. I... Hmm. Because we haven't touched on it yet. I have it. Like, out of, like, comfort, I want to say Loki was my favorite throughout the movie. As, like, a side character. But I think... I don't know. My favorite? That's hard. Well, my favorite? favorite? Cork. Oh, I knew you were going to say Quark. that because I was just going to, I was actually going to segue into Quark. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got you. Because Quark is, yeah. is one of my favorite characters in this movie. How Taika did you feel about Quark? Like, he's such a, he's, like his humor is so funny. I was like, this is so good. He's like, what was it? I had to, no, and that line, like his line was like meme so hard in TikTok for the longest time. Oh, yeah. And I was like, Quark. Scene, but he it? didn't have that much like there was he not didn't. a lot of no it was great for Korg. but it was just so good <laughs> i just thought i just thought his quotes were just so good i thought it was just like what was oh it? yeah especially uh, when they when he first introduces got captured. himself yeah yeah when he introduced himself and i was like oh, and then I'm thor was like why it. are we why are we still walking around and he goes oh it's just a loop <laughs> Oh, it's like, how did you end up here? It's like, well, I tried to start a revolution, but didn't print enough pamphlets. So hardly anyone turned up. I was like, <laughs> what? what? Oh, my God. <laughs> he didn't print enough pa- and He's like, and, except for my mom, except for my mom and her boyfriend, who I hate. Who, do- who I hate. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, Cor- he's, a, he's a loyal, loyal guy, though. Oh, that's what it was. He's it's a like, real one. That's what it was just like. Hello, over here, pile of rocks waving at you. So my name's Cork. I'm kind of the leader in here. I'm made of rocks, as you can see, but don't let that intimidate you. You don't need to be afraid unless you were made of scissors. I was like, dude, that was like such a nice that line. It's like, so... don't be afraid if unless you're made of scissors. And but ironically, Meek has like blades for hands. Yeah. So... Oh, that's so funny. 
How'd you feel about trying to escape into the devil's anus? <laughs> I thought the names of everything was so good. I was like, they were just going at it. Like, they're just like, the devil's anus. I just, if I knew that's what it was called, I would just, I, I, I just call it the big one. The big one. So, the big devil's anus, apparently. <sighs> oh my gosh. You know what? You know that get help method between thor and loki that was very funny and very efficient and it's still funny and it's it still, still funny. funny oh my gosh <sighs> what do you think of hella as a villain in this one stop being in my brain <laughs> i'm just gonna ask <laughs> i actually don't have your notes either so for once for once i ooh, i felt like it kind of got a short stick in my opinion it did um and i don't know if it's because she's like a female villain and they just did not know how to deal with her or if it was like because how i felt was like okay so they started out with thor trying to figure out where thor and loki how to figure out how where their dad is right and then you know found their dad and then oh secret sister comes in but then Secret Sister was like in and out of the movie because they had to concentrate on Thor and Hulk off going off. Essentially getting back to Asgard. Yeah, basically. And then it was like they went back to Asgard, but then she kinda that time missed was when she like destroyed and kind of tampered with Assumed Asgard. Yeah. Assumed yeah. Asgard. Um Yeah, I just kinda felt like they missed the mark on on her it's so funny because when you think about it she's one of the most i think i've seen people do rankings now and she's one of the most like powerful people people list on a yeah on a tier yeah. list i've seen and that i've seen that but it's so true because i always wondered i was like you put her down because it's based on what like what we've seen or just what we know from the comics or all this stuff but or maybe how much trouble they had with her yeah or how powerful is she it's again like we just speculate on all these things because we're told what she can do and we've seen what she can do too oh like yeah. we got to see flashbacks and stuff but i kind of wish broke her broke the hammer too like yeah what yeah once she broke the hammer i was like wh- i remember seeing it, i was like what What? <laughs> <laughs> but you know and i think i i kind of wish we got more of her that's true because mm-hmm. i think she was a very good villain and i don't know if it's because she was a because she was a female villain but more what if it's more she's a thor villain because if you like i that's that was my gut reaction watching this i was like man she was really good but is that because she, no honestly she was really good and i think it was really good extra good because of what we've seen with thor with villains. thor and how they've handled done it like, handled because the, think about it villains. i think the first in the first movie it was technically loki it was technically, technically loki yeah right but Second then movie, the big bad fight was me. like well it was like the elf dude the, oh, yeah. the dark elf dude oh, that's all dark, i remember oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all i remember is that he was the Tenth or the whichever doctor in Doctor Who, I forgot. Tenth one, I think. I think it was or eleventh. Ninth. Hold on. I, We're oh, like nine, gonna, ten, this eleven. This is gonna bother me. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know. I was like, uh, Dark World. Yeah, Dark World. Cast. Dark World cast, and it is Christopher. I can never say his name. Malakif the Accursed. He was best known for the ninth, the ninth. Oh, doctor. okay, ninth. Well, I was close. I was like, Tenth? when when they oh, like rebooted or not rebooted, but when they brought back the show. See, yeah, the show or the Doctor Who show for a modern. Yeah, yeah. A modern take. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they missed a mark a little bit, but I, I will have to say, as a Thor villain, they did a good job. Yes. Um, but as like a villain in general, if you want to compare it to like thanos in this in this phase like it's not how can you not <laughs> yeah it's not that grand not that yeah great she was just bad- you know? honestly i think that she was just badass that's what it was oh like, yeah was no 100 percent. yeah but it was like she it, i think it's true like she how she was saying it wasn't the best again but it, it was also been like, better it could have been but better. also she was the reason why they had to go back to Asgard, but then, like, the journey to Asgard and all that stuff, so... Yeah. Yeah. No, no. With that, how do you think they're going to handle Love and Thunder? Love and Thunder? 
Stop. You're in my brain today. Stop, Stop it. <laughs> I, can, I can guess today. I can figure it I out. I know. Deductive. You're like thinking about it. I think. No, just kidding. Um, they're going to have the same like momentum as Ragnarok because it works. That humor works. And how he's trying to find himself. He's still trying to find himself uh, in Love and Thunder from the trailer at least phase. but he's in his yeah hippie phase he technically spoiler alert he's technically with the guardians of the galaxy people so i guess we'll get a gl- glimpse what? of them too How? What? oh my gosh oh my goodness <laughs> i can i cannot believe <laughs> i think it'll have it'll have the same vibe he's trying to find himself i think he'll try and retire um i won't spoil why just go watch the trailer and you'll figure it out <laughs> and you'll figure it out mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. but yeah i don't think chris hemsworth will retire from thor the character just yet i think i think chris says he has a couple more movies in him for thor if he gets to work with Taika Waititi. If, yeah, Waititi. if he gets to work. Yeah. I was going to say, is that... Because I remember that's what his thing was, like, after Ragnarok. He's like, if they make another one, he would love it. it, it would, and if Taika's directing it, he would be all in. Yeah, he'd be all in. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, that's what I think. He's in his hippie phase. Like, this, like, vibe of Thor from Ragnarok really works for Chris, I think. Yes. And I, I yeah. think... I agree. I think he's able to deliver on, like, this kind of this kind of Thor but I think it's also just more fun to watch honestly because when you watch it was fun to see because Thor was one of those characters in my opinion at the time back then in comics where he was a fun side character oh yeah because you get to see like the Asgardian like his his dialect and because I remember in comics how you have the comic book font and then when an Asgardian talks it's like very it's like the... formal like in very yeah. like fan- fantastical font yeah so fancy that was fancy that, font. yeah fancy font but that was so but i don't think that translated very well into film or no because or as a soul as a solo thing if anything it felt too impersonal mm-hmm. for one and two and i i don't know where the writers went with ragnarok but it worked it just worked somehow we, some way we know where they went totally different direction <laughs> yeah <laughs> and all for the better how do you feel? What do you think? How do you think Love and Thunder will go? Or what do you want to see I, out of Love and Thunder? I just want the same. I think I just want the same energy. I want not the same. Like, if the comedy is about the same, I love it. Like, I just, I'm a sucker for, like, comedy, right? So if they keep this kind of, like, tone, I think I'd be all for it. And they are, yeah. from the trailers that we've seen, they are keeping, like, the idea of it. And it's just, also, the music choices are really good. Like, the music choice in this one was really good. Oh, like, yeah. Like, it was just, like, all the rock and, oh, God, yeah, it was just, oh, beautiful. It was but, majestic. Yeah, I think if they keep up, if they keep the same tone, that's all they want at, at the end of the day. Um, hey, Fat I Thor, just, Fat Thor will be gone, I think, in a little, in the end a, half of Love and Thor. Yeah, Love he has Thunder. a montage. He has yeah, a montage. he does. He does. It's beautiful. <sighs> but, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I think this movie was really good. And I this is why Thor Love and Thunder is one of my most anticipated. It was behind Spider-Man. And now my next most now anticipated is... movie is Thor. Oh, yeah. I agree. I'm ready for it to hit uh, theaters in July. But we obviously cannot see it and record it like it's the weekend, weekend of. of my wedding. Lol. Wow. Oops. Oops. <laughs> you timed that real well. I like how it's your most anticipated I next know. Marvel movie. It makes me movie, really upset. And you can't, of. we cannot I can't see, see it. it. Can't like, see it for a can, week. Week and a half, technically. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, do you have anything else? Any other comments, concerns? No. no. Nothing. Not at all. I just love it. Just love yeah. Thor. Just love Dragon. Thor how, and how it's handled now. It's great. Yeah, I agree. Fortnite oh. Thor is the best. Stop. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to close it out. Thanks for tuning in. You can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon at Novo Convo, N-G-O-V-O Convo. 
If you don't know how to spell our last two names, short and sweet, it's everywhere. Literally. On the video. <laughs> yeah, well, it's everywhere. If you're on YouTube, don't forget. To... I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button and notification bell to get updates for when we upload and subscribe. It's a big red button below me. Hit Hello, that sir? like button, not the dislike button. I will see the dislike button. What do you mean? I don't see it. What wow, numbers? Okay. Mm. <laughs> Let us know how we're doing. What do you want to see next? What do you want us to do? Do you like this fa fa fam it format? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, yeah. Do you like this format? Do you like how we're kind of like releasing older stuff? before rewatching stuff before the new watching movie. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. kind of like a rewatch review i don't know let us know how we're doing in the comments let us know what you want to see next everything everything and bye-bye <laughs>